went to Aso Villa to see the president, President Muhammadu Buhari, if I had not gone to speak the truth to power, do you have an idea of what was planned for Sunday Igbo and things that will happen afterwards? Diplomacy is way better to resolve things than war because even after the war that we all don't pray for, you will still sit down to talk. Hmm. Well, one thing is that before now, or as at, that, as at the time the only officer went to Asu Villa, everybody was speculating that what could have taken him to Asu Rock. People say, oh, it could be because of the Esme and what have you. And when he came out, he didn't even tell anybody. But I just believe that it was when the whole thing started, people started suspecting him, apart from what uh, Sunday Bobo said, that, oh, this man went there. Because when he came back, he just said, he didn't tell even the journalist that they interviewed him after coming out from Aso Villa. But he just said, oh, Sunday Bobo should just be calm. Uh, he has made his, his voice to be heard. The authority will take it up from there. And because that was what a lot of people were really expecting. And that was why Sunday Bobo said he went there to do this, to do this, and which a lot of people, you know, saw as an offense that he, he, he insulted the man. But he said, if... You think that I have offended you? Sorry about that. If you perceive, perceive it as an insult. And a lot of people see, said, oh, what he did was right. Because if you fail in your responsibility, definitely other people will take up that your responsibility and do it for you. And you can't be blaming them. So, of course, a lot of people from the north, especially from the north, have been calling for his arrest. All of them, both some governors, some group of people, they've been calling for the arrest of Sunday Bo. Even the... Senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falano, he started with, with that, that he, in case he disturbs them again, they should sue him. But all of a sudden, he made a U-turn and began to, sang a, began to sing another song because people came out for him that, what are you people talking? You are quoting constitution. You are doing this, you are doing that. And a lot of uh, people from the Southwest said, if you, if, you, if you arrest this man, his case is going to be worse than that uh, of uh, Nambri Kano and his followers because... The way you think you did well with the answers, it might not be like that. And you saw the way people came out with that answers. You think he will be able to curb it. So that is why Honey of Ife is telling, telling us now that if he had not gone there, if he had not gone, you know, contrary to the insinuations of people, that if he had not gone to talk to power, then do you know what they are thinking about him? Of course, we should know, but they themselves, they are trying to advise themselves. So... Whether what you told him or not, it is not it's inconsequential, or it could be part of a what could really, you know, have a, added up for not a, a arresting him. So this whole thing is that this man is going to cool down, and just like a Wolf Shoika said, that what he has done is the right thing. But in what he's doing, in everything that he's doing, in one way or the other, there could be mistakes, there could be errors. But they themselves, who are the leaders? They are the people, they will have to correct it, which he thinks that a lot of people have been calling him, do it this way, do it this way. And that is what these people, especially those who are really politically inclined, any little thing is, a, is political. But when people are killing people, it will not be political at that time. But once you, once you begin to speak, begin to complain, oh, some people, <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm telling you I'm hungry. You're telling me somebody is telling me to say I'm hungry. I don't understand. That is just the way it is. You are not doing something right. People are coming to talk, come and tell you. Even if it is, you think it is your perceived enemy, your position that is telling the person to go and do something. Because what you are doing is what they are putting up to you. So the people do not have uh, the will of their own not to complain anymore. So this idea of uh, trying to plan for him, like he said, like uh, what Oba uh, Oni of Ife said, that do you know what uh, would have been done to him? Maybe now or afterwards, or what will happen afterwards? You know what, that, is, that statement to me is really, really loaded. If I had not gone to speak the truth to power, do you have an idea of what was planned for him, for Sunday Bobo, and things that will happen afterwards? So he was the one that went there and persuade them not to invite, not to do this and that, not to arrest him. But you'd have gone the same way. And that was why Sunday said, the man did not say, he did not tell the president the what the yoruba people are suffering and in my opinion <laughs> of course how can you how can is Ibuari not in this country does he need to be told or maybe what he meant was that at least 
to say no, it cannot continue. <laughs> but looking at the only of Fife, only of Fife is not that kind of person that is outspoken. I don't know if he has, if he has held uh, any position before, not before, at least, you know, when you deal with people at higher level, you know how to be able to, to be confident because most of the things that uh, are going wrong in this country because the people who are there do not have the political will to do some things. Even if you are being handling some positions before now, if you don't have that zeal, if you are not confident of yourself, it will be very, very difficult. I begin to think about this. Oh, hey, because of these people, hey, because of these people, I have to shift ground. I have to do this and that. There are some things that you can't be shifting ground if you want to get it right. So even me looking at uh, the only of Fife is not that kind of person that, uh, you know, that has a, uh, you know, like he said, he said that is his style. When he, when he was being accused by one of the monarchs in Ogun State, he said, this is my style and I, I, I do it the way I feel I do it. But a lot of people do not agree with that. I can use it at this stage and time. There are some times you just have to be gentle. But at times when, at this critical time, just like a uh, Wally Shurika said, that it was just getting to an explosion point and somebody needed to come out, which he did. Which he did without uh, being told. We know that the anybody who wants to criticize the government or to stand up to the government, yeah, you have to be you have to be strong. You have to be strong. This man is saying that a lot of people are afraid of him. His family members, Sunday Igbo said his family members are afraid for him that he might get it. But he said nobody's going to kill him because they are afraid. Hey, this uh, what you have gone to. Uh, involve your saving. Even the people, you know, you want be. Before you know it again, they say, I beg you, your own is too much. Just like uh, some people have already come out and started saying, either he was listening to some other people. Ah, no, we should not do this so because of it, uh, they can come and, re uh, you know, come for reprisal. Of course, you already know if that is a problem, you already know the solution, you already know what could happen. Then you yourself, you have to be, you have to be a ahead of those people since you already, because that is uh, one of their secrets that they will never forget. And this man said it, Erufai has said it that any uh, full animal that is being killed, that is a, a, a loan that will be repay, that will be, that is repayable anytime, no matter how long it's going to take. What does that one tell you? Uh -huh. So they've released your their, uh, this, you know, then everybody, if somebody has said that, and before you know, maybe generation to come, people begin to refer to that. This is what they have done. This is the antecedent. And you will come out and be telling us, uh, you are not like this, you are not like this. And all your characters and your position has shown that, yes, this is what you stand for. So what Onion is telling us that if not that he had gone there, hmm, do you know? Of course, he will not tell us, but everybody should be able to use their tongue to turn their teeth that yes, we know what could have happened. But even at that, it is not that's not the end. Though. We are just we are still watching everything. That is not the end, and I'm sure himself is not is not going to release because they will want to try him no matter what. So guys, leave your comment below and let's have your take on this. Thank you.